chosen, right? Okay. First of all, good evening to my respective panels and also good evening to my old friends. And I am going to take a presentation in one of my dreams. It was one of my dreams from my final year of engineering. But some financial problem, I can't complete this uh, dream. So right now I get a chance to just present this uh, presentation in front of this bunch of people and also you. I am welcoming all of them to my dream. Please cooperate with me. <coughs> my presentation is based on flying ambitious vehicle. Flying ambitious vehicle. I think that all of them are getting what I am going to present in the meaning of ambitious and flying. We know that there are several modes for transportation right now in the world and India also. The main transportation system are road transportation system and the rail transportation system, air transportation system, water transportation system. But out of the above four, we have some other transportation system are also using to travel or using for military purpose or ambulance purpose or fire rescue or like that purpose. The one is ambitious vehicle and another one is flying car, flying boats, <coughs> submarines and satellite vehicles. And the final two, submarines and satellite vehicles, I'm not going to explain what that. I'm going to explain the ambitious vehicle, flying gun and flying boats, and a combination of these three. This is ambitious vehicle. What's the meaning of ambitious? We know that frog. Frog is an ambitious animal. From the concept of a frog, the scientists they make an ambitious vehicle. Right now, ambitious vehicle is very popular in European countries, especially American army and the United Nations, they are using several military vehicles in ambitious mode. They are riding in Amazon, one ambitious vehicle, United Nations, they developed, that's ambulance vehicle, that's whole ride on the full of uh, um, Amazon river. This is an ambitious car, this is developed by a French scientist, his name is Julius. This is right now in the world and right now this is in a museum of French, French government. An ambitious vehicle is a vehicle or a craft that is means of transport, visible on land as well as water just like an ambient. This type of vehicle, this type of vehicles are possible to ride on the road and water with a same engine. I just like to see you one video. German bus. This is not a concert bus. In Germany, they are using this bus to travel in the road and also cross the river and also for transportation purposes. This bus has a 42 plus 1 seating capacity and this bus is developed by a German scientist and I don't for remember his name. Right now you are seeing that this bus is going to enter the water from the road. This is another ambitious. This is one of the most speeded vehicle in ambitious sector. This is a car. It is possible to ride in the road at a speed of 160 km per hour and also is possible to ride in the water at a 7 nautical mile per hour. That's a very low speed. We just I just uh, requesting you to please concentrate the tires, what the, what the location, what the position of the tires of this vehicle when it's moving on the water. And just look the front wheel of this vehicle, front section of this vehicle, this area. They place this water in the, this is, I think that this is a river, they place here, just look the tire location. This is flying car. I am very happy to say that this is not a concert car or this is not a demo car. This is an original car. This car is flying from Buenos Aires to the headquarters of Argentina with a group of press photographers. 
This is the worst model, worst model awarded by best model in Buenos Aires Auto Show 2011. This car is made by Chevrolet and the model name is Camera. Uh, this uh, the videos is not available in anywhere. Only the photos is available. The what's a flying car? Flying car means an or an aircraft or a roadable aircraft is an automobile that can legally travel on roads and can take off, fly, fly and land on land as an aircraft. Means it can move on the right on the road. When we want to take off on the land, it's possible to take off like a helicopter. Based on the pressure difference, it's possible to take off on the land and also fly. And when we want to land, we can land in the road at any work without any aerodrome or without any traffic control or like that. Just see how to take on the vehicle. We saw that the helicopters are taking off. When the helicopters are taking off the front center, so this thing, this this vehicle is take off on first front side. You see one item is moving here. This one. This being the moment I will actually one here. This is flying boat. Flying boat is one of the common in uh, not only not, not in India. It's outside is one of the very common in uh, United Nations and America, UK, United Kingdom, France, Japan, uh, Dutch. That they are using the same. This is a helicopter. Right now it's a helicopter type of boat. And a flying boat means winter seaplane with a hull and take off from water and also land to the water with a same engine. This is the concept of. Uh, this is not a concept. This is the idea of a uh, uh, flying boat. I'm just to show on video. You see that this is one of the big aircraft by American military. This is large. This is, a, this is one of the small single cylinder engine based aircraft come bomb. Take off. This one, this, this two, this two item is not as condoms. This two one. Right now, friends. I am going to explain the combination of these three the ambitious vehicle and also the flying bot I am going to explain so flying ambitious vehicle is a concept flying ambitious vehicle is a concept it is not only an automobile or not only a uh, marine based vehicle or not only an air sector vehicle but we can define flying ambitious vehicle is a combination of road, water and air sector vehicles a flying ambitious vehicle can ride on the road, water and capable to land and capable to take off and landing from both road and water. This is the main principle of the, this is the main function of ambitious vehicle. Why we need a flying ambitious vehicle? Because already we have several modes of transportation system, high power transportation system, high speed supersonic, like that is it. Then why we need a flying ambitious vehicle is just only a dream. Why we just spend the time? This is the answer. Military uses make a revolution in military movement. We know that the Kargil and that uh, Kashmir areas is not possible to move by some tracks and like that because the turrets or the militants they are placed up. These are mines as well. Every time we are heard that the vehicle track, uh, military track is exploited by heat on mines like that. We can avoid, if we have a flying ambitious vehicle, we can avoid that. Hospital use, we can save more lives. Police and fire rescue operation. A new window for adventure, tourism and sports. Design of a flying ambitious vehicle. 
I would like to explain only the main parts of a flying ambitious vehicle that are entirely different from other vehicles. What's a road or rail or air basically. This is the main parts. Body hand, hull, engine, propeller, tire and wheel system, steering wheel, control stick, vertical stabilizer, horizontal stabilizer and safety control system. These are I am going to explain about flying ambitious vehicle. Body hand, hull design. This is one of the very complicated one because the design is failure, nothing is there. So that is one of the uh, complicated. What is a hull? First of all, we want to say what is a hull. This is known as hull. Hull means, I think that this, uh, this, for, uh, this picture you can understand what is a hull. A hull is a waterway body of a ship or boat. The shape of hull is entirely depending upon the need of the design. To successfully design, fabricate and build a hull that, ca the, that can be used implicated into flying ambitious vehicle. This hull should be light, durable and within a reasonable price. To stay afloat, the volume of the hull need to be greater than mass of it. The volume of the hull need to be greater than the mass of it. You see, this is a top, top view of the hull, side view, this is a front view of the hull. If, uh, when we designing a hull, these three points are very important. Build it as a hydrodynamic.